Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. Hey beautiful people, welcome to the second installment of Damn Good Habits. The first episode was all about execution where I walked through some simple steps on just getting started with your creative idea, or in some cases, just being generally productive. Uh, this time around, I wanna discuss planning. My favorite phrase used to be, I'll get that done later. And on paper, there's nothing wrong with that because we can't do everything we wanna do today. However, me saying that was the product of chronic procrastination, forgetfulness, and easy distractions. And it was transformative to get to a place where I could say instead, I'll get to that Tuesday after I get the groceries. And I believe this change could be attributed to using a pen and a paper to create a snapshot of what's in my brain or using DSLR, dump, sort, label, and rank. DSLR is pretty simple. First, Everything starts with having a brain dump. Set a journal in the center of your space, and for a few days, just live your life. And if any ideas, goals, or tasks you have come to mind, write them down. A new video idea, an old creative idea, something you need from the grocery, a, a bill that needs paying. Let the journal be a place for a brain dump, and try to normalize the gesture of running to the notebook when you remember the task. Don't worry about making it pretty or prioritize. You just wanna get it out of your head. Uh, everything that comes after this is secondary and optional, but helpful. Secondly, sort them. Uh, what are creative tasks? What are everyday household tasks? Thirdly, label. Label any tasks that are time sensitive, such as a bill, a contract, or a birthday gift. And finally, rank them in terms of executability. Maybe some tasks require others to happen first, or maybe they need a piece of equipment. Uh, work out what can be done first. Good organization and planning involves not trusting yourself. And the first thing I needed to forget in order to grow was my memory. Trust the data instead. Make sure that there's written data and it will never fail you. You will feel more empowered than ever by not forcing yourself to carry everything in your head. The reality is we can't keep everything in RAM. We need to offload to storage. Here you can see the DSLR lists in my notebook. See how they're first just quickly gathered throughout the day, and then if I have time, I can separate by category, mark anything as urgent, surface anything that can be done now, and it's all just command and conquer from there. Yours don't have to look like this. They should look like however your brain organizes information. So many of us are guilty of saying, I just need a clear day where I can just sit down at a clean desk and set up all of the productive stuff. I have news, the cavalry is not coming. I've done this for years, that day never arrives. And frankly, it's not all of our fault. Part of what I dislike most about the productivity, life hacker, wellness culture is that it makes me feel like I need to be drinking tea in an off-white turtleneck sweater in order to have my crap together. Look, it's going to be messy because we're here for the mess. Always remember, don't aim for 100%. Aim for simply showing up. If you show up every time, growth can happen. Mm -hmm.